So it looks like we're getting here right now. It's going to be Ralphie versus DLT. Yeah, two rather, two rather likable faces. I will like these faces. Yeah, so Ralphie having like a good amount of Sonic experience, and this is actually a matchup that Sonic kind of struggles with a bit because uh, this is one of the few characters that can kind of run away from Sonic pretty consistently. Yeah, not only that, I believe that Cross Slash and even regular Cross Slash can give Sonic a lot of trouble. You know, when he's Spin Dash camping, uh, Limit Cross Slash is actually a nightmare, right? I don't know. I remember that, I seem to remember it was when um, Ally played Cloud against Wrath. He just did it. <laughs> he just did it. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, but it's like the fact that the hitbox and he can end at any time. Oh. You know what I mean? No, it makes sense. But uh, anyway, so getting back into this match, uh, we we wanted to explain something, and we totally missed almost zero to death coming out from Ralphie. Really strong start. And um, you, <laughs> I was not expecting that from a game with a Sonic in it, you know? I thought we could talk about, like, a ton of things for, like, four Just minutes. take a moment, like then... a little breather. But <laughs> nah, first dog over in 40 seconds. My favorite. <laughs> Yo, but Ralphie putting on that good pressure, dude. Yeah, he's been interesting. Oh, he went, uh -huh. No, he went for the, if I hit you with this, this game's over. If you if I don't hit you with this, this game's going to go on for another minute, but it's fine, because this is probably over. If I don't hit you with this, I force you to approach again. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, and right now, Ralph is just showing a real dominance. You know, he's a name that's been getting better and better here in the scene. He recently just no. got... Oh. The LT, no. Yeah, so... Ralphie actually recently got uh, PR'd. PR'd. He's yeah. PR number, number nine. nine. Yeah. Yeah, his boy, Jen, also HO3K now, is number 10. We, uh, we snatched up all the recently PR'd players. Mm -hmm. <laughs> actually, kind of the best. And so, uh, definitely, right now, he's looking to keep that, you know, like make it show us that he earned that title. Yeah. He's, he's been very consistent at his placings here at the Xenos. He's never won a Xeno, though, right? No, yeah, this might be the first one if he keeps up this crisp play up. Yeah. Especially because, uh, actually, one thing that I'm really looking forward to uh, is that if Ralphie stays in winners, he might end up fighting light. And that's a rematch that I think everyone wants to see. But anyway, getting back to this match that we're seeing right here, we're seeing just, like, Ralphie is throwing out a lot of these really big hitboxes, but it's very smart the way he's doing it. Oh, and right as I say that, actually, DLT is starting to recognize the, the holes. Ooh, again, Ooh, getting the nice. power shield. All right. Yeah, so DLT already, and he forced Ralphie to burn limit. That was actually a really interesting bait from Ralphie. It was kind of risky there. If he had gotten hit by that forward smash, he probably would have died. But in the meantime, he has the stage control, and he's putting, he's putting DLT in the corner here. Oh, really smart. Actually, DLT has a good idea, like, of just the timings that Ralphie's trying to do for his moves. He's not letting Ralphie really box him out the... Oh, my God. That would have been so clutch. He's not letting Ralphie uh, really box him out the way that he did the earlier match. He's playing a lot smarter overall. And whenever he has uh, Ralphie on stage, he's just kind of waiting for him patiently, making sure that uh, every time Ralphie does get back, he's going to have to burn something. But there it is, the up air to catch his landing, closing out that first stock. And we've seen some smart, patient play from DLT, but now that he's down an entire stock, that patience has to, you know, it's a little more goal-oriented. You know, he has to start thinking about how to get the kill. Looks like he's immediately starting to go for it by going for this back throw, get him off stage. Wow, that was actually an amazing skid from DLT. The super smart uh, F smash at the ledge by DLT, by the way. He, ha he forced Ralphie to choose between potential. Wow, nice up B to up there. Uh, he forced Ralphie to choose between either taking a stock loss or uh, burning his limit. And obviously, Ralphie chose the latter. Then I was going to say before, DLT surprised me. Yeah, after what was an extremely convincing game one, this is actually pretty close. Only about 15% separating the two of them. And, ooh, but now he's caught in this juggle situation. Really smart there. He downers there into the ground, so at the very least he gets, refreshes his jump. Being caught above Cloud without a jump is maybe one of the single most terrifying things. Yeah. No matter how many times you spring, you still gotta come back down. And when you do, he's gonna be waiting. Oh, no. 
What a beautiful cross-up from Ralphie. Ralphie's starting to be a little bit more uh, creative in his shield pressure. Mixing it up with the grabs also. Thinking for this one across slash. No, the down tilt actually. Interesting. That's like I when I see Ralphie do something like that, I'm like, oh, he's looking for this. And then he surprises. Like, it's very hard actually to know what is going through his mind. Yeah. Ralphie's a very big fan of Yo. Like, I did not think he was looking for that. He was I didn't who either. Thought, I don't know if he didn't either. He's a very big fan of uh, perfect pivoting in place to uh, to kind of get the micro spacing to keep moving and then surprise you with some random option you would never expect like this. Like you would expect dash up, dash skid, neutral B. 